the latest variant of the British Army Challenger 2 tank, nicknamed the Megatron, made a noteworthy appearance at a military demonstration event held at the Lulworth Range in the UK on July 12, 2023. The demonstration, which was a multi-domain immersive experience showcasing military equipment and capabilities, was held in anticipation of the upcoming Defence Command paper refresh. Several notable figures attended the event, including James Heapy, Minister for the Armed Forces, General Sir Patrick Sanders, Chief of the General Staff, and Admiral Sir Tony Radakin, Chief of the Defence Staff. The event was an opportunity to demonstrate the UK's military prowess and the sophistication of its latest equipment. The event provided the opportunity to demonstrate integrated tactics and combined arms warfare, offering a glimpse into the capabilities of the modern British military. These integrated approaches underscore the evolving landscape of warfare and highlight the UK's commitment to staying at the forefront of military technology. Developing capabilities in areas such as remote medical support and counter unmanned aerial systems technology were also showcased. The latter is particularly critical in the current age of drone warfare and potential threats from unmanned systems. This focus on remote and automated technology further underlines the emphasis being placed on cutting-edge military tech. But the Megatron, variant of the Challenger 2 tank drew significant attention due to its cutting-edge technology and advancements over previous models. The Challenger 2 Theater Entry Standard TS, Megatron, is an enhanced and heavily fortified modification of the initial Challenger 2 tank, engineered to be more formidable for current combat environments. The TES Megatron's design closely mirrors that of the M1 Abrams Tusk tank urban survival kit, particularly in terms of defense capabilities. It was specifically devised to elevate the tank's resistance against dual warheads and threats from improvised explosive devices IEDs. First introduced to the public at the DVD defense event in Millbrook, UK in June 2013, the Challenger 2 Megatron's latest version was showcased in July 2016 at the Tank Fest in Bovington. This upgraded model boasts a new armor configuration, a blend of reactive, passive, and bar armor, which offers unprecedented protection against contemporary battlefield threats. In terms of weaponry, the TES Megatron retains the original main armament from the prior Challenger 2 MBT, including one L30A1 120mm rifled tank gun. Its design is largely reminiscent of the standard Challenger 2, with a four-person crew configuration, the driver situated at the front center of the hull and the turret centrally mounted. The commander sits on the right, the gunner below and forward of the commander, and the loader on the left side. The highlight of the TES Megatron is its innovative armor design, comprising a mix of standard Chobham, or Dorchester as referred to in the UK, composite armor, reactive, passive, and bar armor. The hull's front is outfitted with a Chobham armor block, and the sides of the hull and turret are equipped with explosive reactive armor, composed of layered protection to the crew compartment and ammunition storage from both kinetic energy rounds, and advanced anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs. Cage armor further augments protection against rocket-propelled grenade RPG, threats. The Challenger 2 TES Megatron's standard gear encompasses a digital computerized fire control system, night vision, heating, an NRBC protection system, and an auxiliary power unit APU. The latter can power the vehicle's electrical systems when stationary and the main engine is off. The TES Megatron is also equipped with the TES counter IED equipment, as denoted by the standard, and, bird table antennas mounted at the top rear of the turret. This system is designed to jam radio or telephone signals that could be used to detonate a roadside bomb.